Hello. I'm going to talk to you today about something really exciting in the field of cranial structural therapy. Working with people over the years, cranial structural therapy has been an ever-evolving process. We're now seeing some incredible results with autism, with people with post-concussion, and with uh, early Alzheimer's onset. So these are three big things that now come from a new cranial structural technique that's just now out there. One of the things that with the autism that was noticed early when I first started working with people was people with autism, when I compressed on their cranium, felt spongy. Recent research has shown that measuring the craniums of people that have autism, they're seeing that they are larger than normal. Observing, just looking at them, generally speaking, you see the forehead looks a little larger. And they also, the self-stimming, touching their forehead really bothers them. They don't like people touching their face, things like that. This led me to believe that there was something going on here, the sponginess and that hypersensitivity. So what I started doing was figuring out a way to get the cranium to start to pump out inflammation and fluid. We call it the big pump in our therapy. But the bottom line is we really work the pumping mechanism of the cranium. What we found is the swelling in the frontal lobe that's pushing out against this frontal bone goes down. You can palpably feel that it's less distended. It's less spongy. Now, when that happens, the hypersensitivity to touch and different things disappears. The ability to focus increases incredibly, and behaviors get better. This is with autistic children. It happens with normal people, too, if they have the problems, but this is with autistic children. So just those things are huge. This has been measured by people that are in special classes where they see big jumps in their behavior, big jumps in their ability to concentrate and learn, big jumps in not self-stimming longer. So this is a huge benefit for people that have autism. The younger we can get children for this big pump, the better. So for treating autism, this is a big part. But we also took a look at a few other things. We were getting some clients that had, had multiple concussions. But well, one of the fears about multiple concussions is we look at our 40 and 50 year old athletes who don't know who they are or don't know their children's names from having had multiple concussions. That's pretty bad. The second one we get is we get people that after a second or third concussion can no longer concentrate, can't read, have severe headaches, and are disoriented, really are not fully functioning at a mental capacity. Well, again, compressing the frontal bone, I noticed that there was a sponginess. So what I started doing was applying the big pump to those people to work with that cranium to see what could happen. Initially found adhesions, lesions, restrictions to the cranial pump even because of the scar tissue that formed from the brain bouncing back and forth inside of the cranium. But with a series of treatments, what happened was one, everything moved normally after a while. Two, people were able to concentrate, the headaches disappeared, and they were able to focus. They weren't disoriented any longer. Third aspect of this that's really exciting is if this scar tissue causes a build of fluid that chronically in the pressure on the brain creates a breakdown from those concussions and over time would get worse, what's the possibility now that they no longer have that pressure in the brain? Hopefully what we're going to see, and we don't know because longevity hasn't happened yet, at least as long as no one had been treated and had 25 years later to go ahead and look at it. But the hope is that this is going to undo a lot of the damage that would, has happened to the brain that shows up later in life. So this is really exciting for people that have had multiple concussions. Going to one other part, the early onset Alzheimer's. There have been numerous clients we've had that have been in this condition. They start to take medication, they start to do other things. Again, applying the big pump and getting the cranium to clear out the toxins, the fluids, and different things that have built up in it, the results we've seen are clarity, ability to focus, improved memory, sometimes almost a night and day difference. There have been clients, with even with later stage Alzheimer's, that were in real major behavioral problem issues and couldn't let people touch them, were afraid all the time, all of a sudden were relaxed and happy, and were able to carry on conversations again. There have been people that had to be driven over because they couldn't find their way and would get very addled and go different directions that after one or two treatments are now driving around knowing where they're going and discussing politics very intelligently about what's going on in the moment. 
In fact, I was embarrassed because I didn't know what they were talking about because I was not keeping up with the issues. These are the sort of things that early treatment with the big pump for free early onset Alzheimer's is available to people. Like I said, this is a new thing. It's a new development in the work and therapy by working with people. Cranial structural is an ongoing therapy. It's an ongoing evolution. We will keep on learning new things and new applications. But if you or someone you know is having some of these problems, please look up a structural energetic therapist who does cranial structural therapy that has these skills so they can assist you, your children, or your friends with concussions or whatever to go ahead and not be limited by these conditions. Thank you.